the five, six, seven, eight. If you're wondering why you can never achieve a flawless base, it's probably because you have a layer of fur on your face, sweetheart. It's time to shave that off. Hey, kitty girls, it's me, Z, and I just wanted to come on here real quick and show you guys my secret to smooth skin. If you've ever wondered why men can just wash their face with the same soap that they wash their feet and have flawless skin, it's most likely because they're shaving that dead layer of skin off when they shave their hair. So... We need to take some tips from them, ladies. Because everybody knows that good makeup starts with good skin care. Now, more specifically, today we're going to be talking about dermaplaning or female face shaving, which is essentially removing the peach fuzz from your face so that everything just lays more smooth and glides on effortlessly. Now, dermaplaning can be done professionally in like an esthetician's office or whatnot, or you can do the DIY route like me. That's obviously why you're watching this video and go to your local beauty supply or even Amazon sells these razors in bulk if you want to get a good deal. And you honestly can do this either dry or but I like to use a little bit of face oil so that everything just glides smooth. There's a bunch of different blades to choose from, so just do your own research if you have sensitive skin. Me, I have skin of steel. I could go roll around in the mud and be fine, so I'm using literally the cheapest razors possible. I'll link some down below if you're interested. But another thing that you might need is face oil if you don't want to dry shave. I'm not comfortable dry shaving. I don't know. I just I don't want to hear the razor scraping across my skin. I've already got gator skin. I don't need any more, <laughs> any more ashiness. So yeah, I just always start off by cleansing the day away off my face before starting any beauty routine. And you guys know I love to fluff my face wash. I still, I still haven't figured out the, you know, politically correct term for it. But fluffy face wash is my jam. I don't know why, just the bubbles clean better to me i swear i always pretend i'm in a neutrogena commercial and almost drown myself when i'm watching my face but we're just gonna pat 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 dry and if i tell y'all i've been using sunscreen would you believe me because i can't i don't know if it's really doing anything so like i said this coconut though no, this next part is optional but i just took a little bit of coconut oil and i was a little bit of afraid of having I don't want my face to be too slippery where I can't, you know, grip onto the razor. And then, like I said, the oil part is optional. If you're comfortable shaving dry, you do you, boo. But me, I need a little bit of lubrication on my face before I put anything sharp on it. But not too much because you don't want it to be like a slip and slide and accidentally lose control of what you're doing. So moderation in everything that we do. And after massaging that into the skin, I'm going to start at the temple. Well, not my temple. What is it called? Near my tragus. At my hairline. I like to start by shaving my sideburns because, I don't know. It's just the most dramatic part. Look at that hair come off. I literally feel like, is it hair? Is it dirt? We don't know. <laughs> a little bit of skin cells in there too. It's a party on my face. And yeah make sure that you pull your skin taut when you do it so that you really get as close of a shave as possible and so you don't nick yourself like i almost did a few times especially going upwards up the neck right <laughs> just take your time going around any grooves and you really want to focus on shaving in every direction so that you can make sure you get you can get the hair that's growing like peach fuzz comes in however it pleases so yeah isn't that satisfying oh my god sorry if you're squeamish but look yeah i also take this time to shape up my eyebrows and if i wasn't so damn tired i would have dyed them that same night but face shaving has really become a part of my bi-weekly routine and you should probably add it to yours too if you want your makeup to look snatched i swear it makes a difference And then we're just going to continue this process over the entire face until we are smooth and hairless and resembling a dolphin.
when you get around the mouth it's going to be a little bit tricky and i'm saving the stash for last but if you puff out your mouth you know how they used to tell you put a bubble in your mouth <laughs> be quiet put a bubble in your mouth you're going to want to do a little bit of that to get in the little grooves and corners around your mouth but like i said with practice you'll figure out how you prefer to shave your face i'm just the messenger telling you this is why your makeup is in makeuping this is why you you feel like all the instagram girls are flawless well come on sweetheart filters and photoshop you know but yeah if you're you don't feel like your makeup looks as good as everybody else's this might be why <laughs> And then when it's all said and done, we're just going to wipe off all the excess oil. And because I'm going to bed and I don't want to be all oily in my sheets, I'm going to take a little bit of rubbing alcohol. Or if you have toner, you can use that too. I just didn't have any toner right now. I haven't been using toner for a while. And a little bit of tissue or cotton. I was too lazy to go get the cotton balls. <laughs> but yeah, that wraps up our female face shaving tutorial. If you try this out, let me know down below if you see a difference in your makeup because if you don't, I personally will personally I'm not going to do anything for you. I'm sorry it didn't work, but yeah, you're going to see a difference. But yeah, TTYLXOX Bezos from my bathroom and i'll catch you kitty girls in the next video